Texas Wild Boar Hog. Here's what's going on today. This is something I did not expect. Yesterday we were filling up feeders at the other deer lease. We come out here, we sit in the stand, woke up early in the morning, barely got any sleep, and somehow ended up with fresh pork chops, a beautiful hog, and some nice quarters being smoked right here. I'm gonna show you exactly how this happened right now man it was hot humid miserable didn't bring my thermocell mosquitoes all over the place and boy was i getting the call of the wild and i had to go now and fast as i was sitting there enjoying nature's finest relaxing moments a hog showed up to my feeder i had to hurry up and act fast I'm certainly not a stranger of being caught off guard in the woods while doing life's duties. So I always have my rifle ready. It is always locked and ready to rock. Light rain and piggly wiggly. We got dinner. I was actually taking a dump while he showed up. Of course. Shoot you, bro. That's awesome. Dropped him right here. Fire ants a little bit more ready. Check out the shot. Was facing kind of that way. Had his head down feeding. Shot him right there. Nice. Dropped him. Pretty hog, right? He's pretty. Man, that's awesome. All right, this guy's about maybe 150 pounds, I would say. And uh, I think it's a big good eating. So we're gonna go ahead and take it, maybe donate some of the meat, I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead, take out the back straps, hind quarters, front quarters, tenderloin. Here's the gun that did it. This is a Remington, um, seven millimeter 08. Model 700 with a Vortex on it, 3 by 12 by 42 Diamondback Vortex. So we're going to go ahead and clean this hog and uh, do a little catch and cook on it. I'm not sure what we're going to cook yet, but we're going to cook something for you. But we're going to go ahead and clean this hog right now. Well, there he is, we got him loaded. Well, there he is. Today's bounty. A nice spotted gray hog. I think this is the twin to the one that Josh shot. Not huge tusks. That's about all you got right there. A little, uh, maybe one incher, but still do some damage. Still razor sharp for sure. I wouldn't say a super old pig. Yeah, I thought it was a sow at first. I walked up to it and then I saw the, the junk and the equipment. And this hog right here caught me off guard and by surprise, I, to say the least. Right, Josh? <laughs> Just right here behind the heel, or behind the, uh, whatever you want to call this part, the heel, I guess, or the hawks. And you just cut a slip just like that. 
you just don't want to go too far where you cut this tendon and then the hog will fall right off so just like this and it's big enough where it'll spread for the scambrel i believe it's got fire ants ticks and fleas on it it's about 150 pounds About to have us some roast pig, baby! <laughs> Josh, you hungry? I could eat. We got seasonings or we're just gonna rough it? Challenge accepted. The only thing we have to season this, we just weren't expecting this. We didn't expect, we were working, doing some work at the lease. We did not expect to spend the night and hunt in the morning. And uh, went ahead and got myself a little piglet. Nice little 150 pound boar. And the only thing that we have to season it with is ramen. Beef flavor, ramen. And so we're gonna cook a little bit on this fire right here. And that's what we're gonna use for seasoning. Hey, use what you got. I've used Doritos before. Use what you got. All right, 150 pound Texas wild boar hog. So find the spine, go right along the spine. Always cut from the inside, don't cut the hair. This is a new way that I'm trying to skin the hog, avoiding the testicles, the butt, and the guts. I'll even attempt to take the tenderloins out without having to gut this animal. Hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please hit that like. Also consider joining the tribe and please subscribe. So if you wonder why an arrow has a really hard time penetrating, it's because it's super thick and it's protecting its vitals. That's a bullet. Oh my goodness. That's Look at bullet. this. Look at that. It didn't even go through the plate, man. Hit it here. Well, I mean this plate over here. Well, yeah, because it destroyed his bone. It's spine shot him. Right. It's like all devoured right here. So this thick neck, whatever, it spine shot him. So he dropped. He let out one squeal, and that's it. And look at his bullet, man. Check this out. <laughs> Is that crazy? That's cool, yeah, it's very cool. There's the bullet. A little surgery right there. Did its job. If you notice, I split the cape in half, only skinning one side at a time. This seems to be a lot easier as gravity pulls down the weight of the fat and skin. Next, I will show you how to remove the feet without using loppers or a saw. You have to find the joint and have a sharp knife for it to cut just right. Find a joint right here where it bends. You get it on both sides, back here and back here. Comes right off. The next to remove will be the shoulder or the front quarters. They're very easily removed 
and are only connected by tissue and muscle. We do not have a cooler. We did not expect to kill this hog. It is hot and humid out here in Texas. So what I will do is I will place it over smoke as to keep it fresh, to keep bugs and bacteria off of it. I will also be hanging pieces of meat around the fire, not directly over it, in order to create a crust that will protect it from bacteria and keep it dry and fresh. I like to challenge myself and use whatever we have around a deer lease or if I'm in the woods by myself, using anything I have around me for my advantage in order to trap, kill, or cook an animal. Let's get these back chairs out. Some people come up a little higher. I like to save the butt for different things. You just take the back straps from right under here. I'm gonna go along the spine, come along the rib cage here. Careful, because the guts are just right here. That's how we're gonna go in to get our tenderloin, by the way, if it hadn't been gut shot. Coming up next after the back straps, I will show you how to pull tenderloin out of a hog's cavity without gutting it. What you're doing is you steady pull and then just go in here and separate it from the, from the ribs. This part of it had that that we're gonna cut off. This one happened to be a neck shot and then went through the gut cavity and through the side of the lungs. The reason why I'm trimming some of the meat off is some of the guts backlashed into the bullet hole. Start smoking it. Wild hogs are much leaner than your domestic farm-raised pigs. They will not have a lot of meat on the ribs. That's why you don't see a lot of people do baby back ribs with wild hogs. Also, the majority of this hog and all the meat is in a back strap, tenderloin, hind quarters, front quarters, and the neck. The neck in this instance was blown up by my seven mag. There's a lot of work guys. It's easy to pull the trigger. You can see some waste. That's normal when it comes to neck shot or gut shot. Can't always ask for the perfect shot, expect it. So we had to waste some of this back strap, but that's okay. Got plenty of meat. All right, so we're gonna be getting this hindquarters in a minute. Show you how to get the, the tenderloins. Come in here, right behind the back strap, you'll see opening here. And if there isn't one here, you come in here. Just be careful not to hit the gut. They got huge guts. Especially this one's been sitting for a few hours. That's gonna start bloating. You just don't want to punch a gut sac. It's the last thing you want. Separate. I can feel the back strap. I'm separating it to the back of my hand. I'm sorry, the tenderloin. See it? So you might have to come in. Cut a little bit, but. And that's how you get a tenderloin out. I've never seen that done. That's how you get a tenderloin out without having to gut the animal. There it is. Pretty cool, though. 
Numina dos. Tenderloins to me always stink because they're close to the close to the gut, so we're gonna rinse it real quick. Sure do taste good. Here's the tenderloins. Gutless way of getting the tenderloins out. Who likes tenderloins? I know a lot of you guys been been getting me for not getting the tenderloins under the last one, but there was a, a gut shot. You don't want the tenderloins if it's a gut shot. And I know some of you guys are perfect snipers and don't ever do a gut shot, but every once in a while I do. No, there's not, not enough. not the same as a wild hog, it's, man. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not a, like a, a domestic pig. It's not man. the same. So you could take the neck if you want, but there's a ton of glands in it and I can see some already, guys. There are glands everywhere in, these, in this neck and we don't feel like cleaning it up and it's been, a, as you can tell, it was a, a neck shot and it went in and came out right here and could have possibly gutted one of the, is this it? Uh -huh. So a little bit of the gut. So we're not gonna mess with that. It was bubbling even. What'd you say? It was bubbling. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with it. I barely mess with the tender ones, but I don't think they were affected to you. No. So we're gonna go ahead and continue up here and focus on this business end right here. What I want to do is I'm gonna come right next to the balls right here. Let's go ahead and avoid the balls altogether. <laughs> Just cut around it. Come right here around this tail, avoid the tail. I'm gonna come under here. It's gonna be a bone. It's hard to break. Yeah, you just have to come around this bone. There's a bone right here. You just gotta go around it. Gland right here, see it? Mm -hmm. So keep in mind where the glands are. You have a gland right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off while I'm here. You don't want that on your meat. There's a bone right here. It's kind of a strange bone. You kind of just got to go around it. It's weird how the hindquarters are connected, but the front shoulders are just kind of loose in there. They're just kind of loose. It doesn't have the same connection at all. Same ball joint or nothing. I can smell a little bit of the guts on this thing. Can't you? Yeah, they're coming. It's, co it's coming, coming out, out of the hole. Yeah. Ooh, he almost got in there. In the guts? Mm-hmm. Okay, come over here. See this ball right here? That's what you want to cut. That's what's going to make this whole thing fall. You seen her? Mm-hmm. Everybody does it different. Some people will saw it and, and try to take this whole piece. Getting ready to fall. And then I like to go ahead and try to find that ball joint. Ball joint. Boom. That's what you want. You don't want the legs to fall. You want them to stay hanging. Here they are. A little bit butchered, but not bad. I'm going to show you. You think I'm wasting a lot of meat here. But I'm just going to show you. All this is mostly guts. You got a little bit of meat right here. I can smell the guts already. Cause there's a little bit, a little bit of meat here, barely any to waste. And I promise you, there's gonna be, there's gonna be some wild animals that are gonna benefit off of this. So we're gonna get rid of this here a little bit. That's gone. Mostly guts. We have all of our meat that we want right here. Get rid of that. Throw it away. There we go. Not the prettiest job, but that's how you preserve it from the bugs getting to it. Just like that, and then it'll get somewhat cured and cooked and smoked and still get that flavor as well. What we're doing is we're building the fire right now. You can see it's already starting to cook a little bit, but it's really getting smoked. And the main thing is protecting this meat. Just like if you were up in the Rocky Mountains and you had elk, you would want to protect the meat if you didn't have anything cold. You'd want to hang it and you'd want to put smoke on it and put some fire on it, some heat on it. 
There's our hog, 150 pound boar. Just thank you for, for giving your life. Oh boy, we appreciate it. Thank you, Lord, for supplying it for us. We're gonna season it with ramen noodles, guys. This is what we this is what we're using. Ramen noodles. The the seasoning inside is gonna be our seasoning because we didn't expect to come out here and shoot a hog and one presented itself. So we got back straps, tenderloins, just beautiful. We got a whole hind quarter right there getting nice and smoked. I believe this is a front shoulder. Nice front shoulder, pretty meaty. Looking good already with the colors. Just really nice. Josh, could you ever be a vegetarian, man? This just looks too good, doesn't it? I mean, I'm sorry, you just can't hang carrots and broccoli and tomatoes and it look this good. <laughs> it will look right. It's a beautiful thing. Isn't it, Josh? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. We don't have ice. This is what you want to do when you don't have ice. You want to get it smoky, hot, keep the bugs off of it. Get a little crust to it get it somewhat cooked on the outside this way the bacteria bugs all that don't get to it and uh when we're ready to go after right after we eat we'll put the fire out wrap all this up in something we don't know yet maybe we'll have a trash bag or something we'll find try to keep the bugs off and the bacteria off of it and then we'll freeze it Mmm, that fat getting toasty. Love that thing. That thing's awesome, right? Who would have known? This came off some kind of a feeder. I don't even know, really. Just using what we got. Looking forward to it. Always nice, always, always nice to eat in the deer woods always just a favorite thing to do you just can't beat it man something about it yo josh what do you want tenderloin Let's get one of the tenderloins Let's get one of these back straps there's a reason why i have this here and i'll show you what other little secret show you what other secret ingredient we have what you think is going to be ramen noodle baby so here we go. First thing we're gonna do is trim some, some of the silver off here. So it's been cooking a little bit, nice and smoked. You take the fat. Oh look, threw it on the grill. Making cracklings out of it. Making cracklings. And you cut the silver off right here. You see that, Josh? Uh-huh. Get rid of that fat. Rid of the silver. It's easier when it's raw, but we wanted to get that smoke going on it. It started cooking a little bit for sure already. Fat, silver, get rid of. You're not wasting, you're just getting rid of the stuff you don't want to eat. Let's go ahead and cut this into nice little pork chops. You ready? I'm going to go at an angle. Because this was never frozen, we want it cut into pretty thin pieces. Dang, that's about half cooked already. Pretty much half cooked, but we're going to want it cooked well done. So, take all that. You can leave some of that on there, that's fine, some of the fat. All right, looking good, almost ready to get thrown on. We're going to cut a few more. Josh, you're pretty hungry. Want this whole backdrop cooked? Yeah, man, for sure. Okay. So here we go. Tenderloin. We're gonna cook it just like that. Backstrap. Here's how I'm gonna tenderize it. I'm just gonna give it a bunch of stabs. This way, it just doesn't tense up like a muscle, and it's got the breakdown in it. It's pretty tender. I can tell it's gonna be tender. Take your hand. All right. Take some more beer. We don't have any olive oil. All that'll get cooked out, guys. Don't worry about that. Secret ingredient. Ramen noodles, beef, beef flavor. There we go. I'm not gonna use the noodles themselves. Okay, we're not gonna use the noodles. We're gonna use this. For 
seasoning, the beef flavor. It's actually a lot of seasoning. It's a lot of seasoning, it really is. So get it. Get in there real good. It's been sitting in the camper for a while, but we're gonna get it nice and seasoned all the way around. Hopefully it tastes good. Beer and ramen noodles. <laughs> Beer and ramen noodle right there, guys. You've seen it right here, firsthand. First time for everything, right, Josh? That's it. Ooh, smells good. Let's stick her on. Let's put her on the fire, you ready? Put her right here. And the loin. Pork chops. Very hot fire. We don't have tongs, so it's gonna be very interesting. We'll turn these. Wild hog, beer, ramen noodles, whatever we had here to use, that's what we're using. It's a beautiful thing, right? Not a beautiful thing? Shit, yeah, man. Look at that already. Super, super hot fire. Very, very hot fire. Not gonna take long. So looking good guys, already getting that grill marks on it, the beautiful grill marks. This fire is super, super hot, almost too hot to even turn. And it's a good thing we slow cooked it for a little while because it's starting to look really good. It's not gonna take long. Looking super, super good. Let that cook for a little while. This right here is getting cured and getting a smoke to it, getting protected by all the, from all the elements all the bugs, bacteria, and then we have pork chops marinated in beer and in ramen noodle seed beef seasoning. All right, meat's pretty much done. Tastes delicious. We're gonna go ahead and set it right up here. Tenderloin, beautiful pork chops, perfect in cook, in color, in appearance. Good enough to serve at a, at a restaurant. I would serve this at my restaurant. Right, Josh, you would eat it at my restaurant? For sure. Look at this thing, man. I want you to take the first bite, Josh, even though we took a taste already. Get over there and take a little taste. And then it'll be me. Pretty hot? Go ahead, man, dig into it. <laughs> Super hot, right? Is it good? Good flavor? Does it pork chops right out of that store? Not Walmart, not anywhere else. Thank you, buddy. You taste really good. I appreciate you. Thank God for this food. Thank you, Lord, for the food that you provide for us. It is humid. It is hot. I am sweating like crazy cooking over this fire, but it's so worth it. Look at this thing, man. Cooked to perfection. I mean... I mean, perfect. Right, Josh? Straight up perfect. Delicious. Mm. Got a little bit of that fat left on it. It's got a perfect flavor between the beer and the ramen noodle. I mean, I mean, this is it. This is what you're looking at right here. Tenderloin. She ready? You ready. Tenderloin right here. Mmm. So good, dude. The flavors. So amazing. Just came out. Very juicy, very tender. I mean, absolutely nothing dry on this. It is absolutely beautiful. America, Texas jungle. Garbillies, Josh Hall right there. I'm Josh, Texas Jungle, your host, bringing you pork chops straight from the woods. I mean, you can't get more pure than this. You can't get more wild than this. 
you just can't get any better. But hey, you just never know, man. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining Texas, Texas Jungle. Love God, love your family, love the outdoors, and eat wild, guys. This is what it's all about right here. Wild hog with ramen noodle seasoning. Boom. We're going to go ahead and package this up, get out of here. We got some feeders to set up on some more leases. On another lease that we have, we're going to get ready for, for deer season. I'm excited to bring that to you guys. I'm excited to bring. It's going to be different. The filming is going to be different. Um, it's super hot out here, man. If, it, if you're from Texas, you know how hot it is right now and how humid it is, especially by this fire, but it is worth it. But y'all be looking forward to the, uh, be looking for the deer hunts, the hog hunts. We're going to bring you more of that out here, me and my friends. I just want to thank you for joining us. If you like this, give a thumbs up, subscribe, give a like. Tell me what you think. Is this what you like to see? I know it seemed like I waste a lot of the meat, but I'm telling you the rest of it is really all guts. Barely has any meat on the, on the, on the ribs. I know a lot of you guys have asked me about the ribs. Where's the ribs? Show me the ribs. If I ever get one that I feel has a ton of ribs, rib meat on it, I'll, I'll do it. I'll cook it for you but there's just not a bunch. I shot it in the neck, so it, it blew up the neck and then it got a little bit to the guts. I showed you how to get the tenderloins out of the guts and man, how good is that tenderloin? Right here, delicious. Like you know, delicious. just as you good as the store, just as good? No, I mean better. Better, boom. So simple, didn't even have any seasonings. And we, and we made it happen, man. We made it happen right here. We let it smoke a little bit. Fresh, never frozen. Just amazing. We're out of here. See y'all later. We're going to keep eating. Just beautiful and delicious. We're out of here.